Okay, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press, here at the Southern District of New York Courthouse on Pearl Street. It's Tuesday, March 7th, 2023, and we're coming in. There'll be the closing arguments in U.S. versus Seifel of Saipov, the man who, on October 31st, 2017, Halloween, killed eight people on the West Side Highway bike path. It's taken a long time, but we're getting down to it. Yesterday, in the charge conference, there was discussion of the legislative history of the Federal Death Penalty Act. There was discussion of EDNY capital cases and the instructions given. Anyway, we've arrived at it. He'll either be given, at the end of this process, the death penalty, which nobody knows when it would actually be carried out, or life imprisonment in ADX Colorado, uh, Supermax. Uh, we're also covering the Steve Breuer, Breuer trial. He's a former congressman from Indiana that apparently traded on uh, the, the T-Mobile Sprint merger and also GuideStar Navigant. Uh, yesterday, a mistress, a mistress, uh, uh, Ms. Hensel, a uh, journalist, uh, testified. I, I'm assuming she had to. It was for a non-prosecution agreement. How he traded in her Charles Schwab account on these stocks. On Cross, the lawyer tried to say it was basically just him being a nice guy. It didn't really rebut the idea that he was trading on inside information, but I guess if the jury thinks that he was doing a nice thing, apparently by that time the intimate relationship was over, so it was just Big Steve being a nice guy. There was a kind of a significant look by Ms. Hensel as she left the courtroom to um, Steve Boyer's wife sitting in the gallery. Now we're covering the Taxstone trial, uh, um, hip-hop rap trial. Taxstone uh, charged with the murder of a bodyguard and of Troy Avenue, a rapper, in Irving Plaza. This is 2016. This is how long it takes these things to happen. Yesterday, uh, in state court, there was evidence of the gun, operability tests, bullets, boxer shorts, white t-shirts. You can read it all in Inner City Press. The United Nations, we've covered Antonio Guterres and his craven selfie with a U.S. designated terrorist while in Iraq. Well, Anthony Blinken and Linda Thomas-Greenfield haven't said a word about it, and no one led into the U.N. noon briefing, from which we're banned, even asked about it yesterday. We did in writing and they didn't answer. Now Big Tony is on his way to try to continue this Black Sea Grain Initiative, including selling ammonia for Russia. That's how it goes. We've appealed to re-enter, but for now, we're going into the SDNY.